This is Boxing Talk A five seven six. Um, I just got done looking at the um, Adonis Stevenson versus Sakio Bika, Bika fight. Uh, I just want to get my thoughts on it. Uh, it was a it was a decent fight. I mean, you know Sakio Bika, you know how he fights. He comes forward. You know he throws wild punches. Uh, he always gives you know top level fighters good fights. You know what I'm saying he gave Andre Ward a good fight, a decent fight. He gave uh, you know Joe Calzaghe a scrap. You know, uh, he just, you know, he uh, Anthony um, Durrell a, a scrap. So, um, and he was a he was a former, um, I think, uh, what super middleweight champion, 168 pounds. So, um, before he lost it to Anthony Durrell, but I thought, I mean, I didn't do a, a prediction on this anyway. But I thought Stevenson was gonna win anyway because I. Because uh, all Saki Abika know is to come forward, and, you know, that's playing into um, Adonis Stevenson's hands. You know, he can he can land just about any any punches, especially his uh, his left hand. So, um, I thought Saki Abika did all right. You know, he had some decent moments. He's, he, he still does the same thing, just throw wild punches and... The one I think he'll probably hurt people and maybe get some knockouts if he shortened his punches up, but you know he'll never do it because he, you know, he's past that time of teaching old dog new tricks. But I liked what Adonis Stevenson did today. He he went to the body. I thought uh, the body shots more than anything, you know, hurt uh, Saki Abika more than that more than the head shot. Even though that last knock knockdown when he hit him uh, with that uh, counter uh, left hand, that looked more like it hurt Saki Abika than the first one. But Adonis Stevenson did some great, some great body work. I, I got to get to uh, Adonis Stevenson. He did some great body work in this fight. But um, I'd like to see what Adonis Stevenson is going to do next. Uh, he didn't call out Kovalev, which was kind of odd, man, because he was there when um, Kovalev fought um, when Kovalev fought Pascal. He was there. I think he got in the ring, if I'm not mistaken. He got in the ring. But he didn't even call out a... a Kovalev in the fight after the after the uh the fight with Saki Abika that was kind of strange. I, I would have called out Kovalev right then and there, but um, he said that he want the fight. Uh, he said that um he want to um unify the titles. So let's let's see if they're gonna fight next. They might not. They might fight next year, but they might fight uh you know later in the year next year. I think they may have a a, 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 a two another fight without each other, and they may fight later next year. But I'd like to see. See it uh, early uh, next year because Adonis Stevenson already 35 years old. I didn't even know that man was that old, man. He's 35 already, so let's get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? You only got so many fights left in you, so let's get the ball rolling. Um, Adonis Stevenson, his uh, his energy level was 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 good tonight. Usually, in some fights, he 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 looks like he get like like he gets a little tired, a little faded. But he looked real good in this fight. Uh, I got to give it up to him. He um, beat Saki Abika, you know, hands down. Saki Abika put up a good scrap. But, you know, what's a good scrap? You know, it's really just a, you know, he just scrapped. <laughs> he really wasn't that good. But uh, Saki Abika still never been um, stopped. But um, Adonis Stevenson was able to knock him down two times. But I like to see what Stevenson going to do next, man. Let me know if y'all think Stevenson and Kovalev should happen next. So that's the fight. And another thing about um, I like what Al Heyman um, is doing as far as with the PBC, uh, with the commercials. He's he's showing the fighters, you know, in a different light, a little playful light. They're seeing, showing their personality, you know what I'm saying, showing, um, uh, talking about their records and, you know, where they came from and all that stuff. I like that. I like how they um, personalize in the boxers. You have to do that if they want to sell this stuff on network TV. But I, I think that's coming off pretty good. But um, yeah, I like Pauli Malnagy was there doing uh, uh, commentating tonight. That was pretty good. They still had that MMA uh, guy there. He did, you know, he did pretty good. He didn't, he didn't, you know, overdo it. Uh, Pauli Malnagy, uh, you know, did some. Um, some great, some great commentaries uh, telling you what the fighters are doing, how they setting up their punches. Uh, so I like to see what's gonna happen next with uh, uh Donna Stevenson. This is Boston Talk eight five seven six. I'm out.